Kia ora, good evening. There's been several major developments in relation to Gloria Vale following an employment court ruling. Charity Services has announced an investigation and both WorkSafe and the Labour Inspectorate say they'll be visiting the community. Yesterday, the court found three young men who worked from the age of six were employees, not volunteers, carrying out strenuous and sometimes dangerous work. Investigations correspondent Michael Mora has the story. Zion Pilgrim, formerly a senior figure at Gloria Vale, he wants the court's decision to be a catalyst for change. What needs to happen is lasting change, not, not um, just a lot of posturing and a lot, and a lot of noise. He says all residents should be interviewed and it must be a multi-agency approach. There just needs to be a huge level of detailed interaction with every person in there. And there has been some movement on that today. Gloria Vale is a registered charity enjoying tax exemptions and other benefits. Charity Services says we have opened an investigation into this registered charity. In making its decision, it said it noted the Chief Employment Court judge raised concerns Concerns across a range of matters. And should a charity be found to have engaged in serious wrongdoing, they may be deregistered. Liz Gregory welcomes the move, but is worried it could turn into a box ticking exercise. Everybody knows what's going on. You've got credible evidence. It's just time to act. In 2020, despite complaints from multiple former residents alleging abuse, forced separation of families and unsafe working conditions, charity services did not act. We were outraged at the time. We literally could not believe the charity services could not see this for what it was. Last month, News Hub revealed WorkSafe had issued Gloria Vale with nine safety warnings in less than a year. The Minister says inspectors will be returning in light of the court's ruling. WorkSafe will be visiting very soon. Uh, WorkSafe have a broad ability to ensure that any work that has been carried out is done in a way that is safe and appropriate. And the Labour Inspectorate, criticised in the court judgement, says it too will take action and visit Gloria Vale. Labour Inspectorate has always taken um, the Gloria Vale issue seriously. Stu Lumsden says the ruling saying three former members are employees could mean hundreds of others living there are too, meaning they should be paid wages and given contracts. That is a potential. Um, however, at the moment, the, uh, the ruling doesn't uh, cover all the residents of Gloria Vale. Zion Pilgrim was formerly a director of multiple Gloria Vale businesses. He says if leaders can't rely on child labour or free labour, everything will change. I don't see any other possible outcome other than a restructure because it has relied on, on that labour, it has relied on, on free labour. And he has a message for the leaders. To start listening, to, to actually take notice. He says the lives of people there depend on it. What an incredible response there, Michael. Has there been one from Gloria Vale? Yeah, well, I did speak briefly to leader and overseeing shepherd Howard Temple today. Zion, who saw my story, had told me there had been some form of crackdown at Gloria Vale ahead of the court's decision being released to basically suppress the information and ensure that residents did not learn of the decision and that cell phones and other devices had been taken off residents. Howard Temple called me today to say, I just want to pass on to you that no cell phones or communication devices have been taken from anyone. Now, I did ask him straight away if we could talk about the employment court decision. He said said he can't talk about that at the moment. OK, and what has the Children's Commissioner had to say about all this? Yeah, well, um, Children's Commissioner Judge Frances Evers um, said that she's really concerned to hear about what's happening to children at Gloria Vale, that they're working long hours um, for the benefit of Gloria Vale's commercial enterprises, and she said that any exploitation of our mokopuna, of our children, is abhorrent, and that she expects all government agencies will be following best process to ensure children are safe and that that safety is at the forefront of all considerations. OK, Michael, thank you for the update.